Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Whatever side of the diaspora that you on, let me welcome y'all to the mental house. And I'm your host. Y'all, let's talk about this thing here. As most of you know, Fetty Wap have been arrested. Um, my goodness. And for alleged role in a bi-coastal opioid drug ring. So you already know that, um, you know, it is what it is. But what is getting me is how much of this fentanyl stuff, um, you know, has been flowing. And who are some of the culprits in this situation uh, with Fetty Wap? So by him having a a criminal record already, more than likely he's he you know is being used as a mule because that's usually what happens. You know you don't usually you don't go to jail and be rehabilitated. You go to jail when you figure it out um, on another level, but. Actor rapper Fetty Wap is in jail and faces federal charges of being part of a bicoastal opioid drug ring based in Long Island, New York, law enforcement said. Fetty Wap, whose real name is William Jr. Maxwell, was arrested late Thursday at New York City's um, at New York City field on two counts on a two count federal indictment, according to reports. The 30-year-old trap queen recording artist is going to be part of a three-day, he was going to be a part of a Rolling Loud music festival at the New York Mets home in uh, stadium, but never made it to the stage. Fetty Wap appeared Friday in federal court in Central Islip and was detained after his attorney didn't request bail. He's due back in court on November 24th. He has uh, appeared on the TV show Empire and in the 2018 film Blood Brother. Reports indicate federal authorities say Fetty Wap was allegedly a kilogram level dealer in the operation. So, you know. He was moving the weight. And the fact that we arrested a chart topping rest a rap artist and corrections officer as part of the conspiracy illustrates just how vile the drug trade has become. <sighs> yeah, because when y'all lacing it with shit that you know ain't no good, and it's part of the game. I mean, what happened to the Monique? You know, I mean, what if y'all lacing it with this type of shit? Y'all ought to know better. Uh, I ain't going to sit up here and act like, uh, you know, I don't know what this is like. Y'all know what I told y'all back in the day when I used to sing. Um, and I know how drugs get moved across this country. I know how how, how that happens. Okay. Um, I remember when I was part of the madness. But I thank God I've been delivered from that madness. And... um. Otherwise, I'd be an old woman sitting up here talking about what could have, would have, should have if I didn't have enough common sense to know that this was a dead end street. And um, he didn't got caught up. So search warrants in various locations tied to the ring yielded confiscations of roughly 1.5 million in cash, 16 kilograms of cocaine, 2 kilograms of heroin. Numerous fentanyl pills, two nine millimeter handguns, a rifle, a forty five caliber pistol, and a forty caliber Glock and ammunition. Um, so you are being charged with running a bi coastal opioid drug ring. 
Um, not, it ain't going to go no further like who gave it to you. How'd y'all get it? These people ain't going to be implemented. It's going to always be the molds. And uh, these are some heavy hitters because I seem like, like they said, you got a correction officer in your fold. You have look like postal service workers. And you're looking at some serious time and you got all those babies. All of them babies. Y'all, this is very disappointing, but uh, it is what it is. And um, actor Fetty Wap was arrested by the FBI for alleged role in a bi-coastal drug raid. What y'all think? Y'all think they're going to throw the book at him? Think he's innocent? You think that's not how a lot of drugs get distributed across the United States? Uh, what y'all think? I'd like to hear your opinion. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. My heart go out to these families. Because it wasn't worth it.